What's going on guys, welcome back to another video in this mission we're going to make the interior to your planetarium. Uh, if you don't have the outside, I would recommend go checking that out before you do the inside, unless you're just using this for reference, in which case it literally does not matter. Inside, there isn't much space for other things, because I didn't, I underestimated the sheer size of how big the dome is on the actual building. So... <laughs> Yeah, I kind of kind of did that because there's like no space right here. So what I what you might want to do, uh, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. You might want to push out all the walls by at least one block, so it's not like this. I mean, granted, you could just make this like a direct entrance and not even like just have this like gated off or something. But yeah, here's inside the planetarium, which is the main focus. Uh, as you can see, I just kind of put in a ton of stars and stuff. You can decorate this however you would like. But yeah, this is what I did. If you really, if you wanted to, actually, you could, um, actually, no, I was gonna say you could just, uh, like, make that not double layer. But I would make it, I would make the whole thing double layer, and you could even have, like, skylines and stuff on the bottom. All the chairs would have to be pushed, and you'd have to remove two rows, but that's fine. Uh, well, the space move is you don't actually need any space, because you literally just need the shell of your build. And the materials you're needing are smooth stone. Polished andesite slabs. Oakwood stairs. Block of quartz. Dark oak door. Quartz stairs. Black concrete. And white concrete, and I guess I'll get out night vision. I would recommend night vision. You also need a stone brick and, um, soul lantern. You don't need that, so that's not, that, that part isn't required. Come inside of your planetarium, and on top of the grass floor, so don't actually break down this time. Just directly on top of it, you want to place a smooth stone floor in, just like this, and then all the way to the back. Uh, hopefully everyone's having a good day or night. I said that much earlier in the video. It's gonna go really quiet in a second here, and I'm gonna hate it again. Uh, whatever that thing is called, I don't even know what it is. It's not the water heater this time. It's the dryer. I don't know. It's all the same. It's just something that makes noise. That That's about as much as I know. And that's about as helpful as I am as well. <laughs> but that's not the important thing. The important thing is, um... Yeah, it's... The, no, it's no mind. It's... What day is it? It's Friday, yeah. It's my first day of spring break. I get a four-day weekend, which I refuse to call spring break, although I did just call it spring break, but, you know, whatever. I'm just gonna call it a four-day weekend, because it's lackluster. So, yeah. It's annoying. Very annoying. But, you know, it is what it is. Because everyone gets, like, a week off, usually, but I don't only, I only get my measly four days. Granted, it's better than nothing, but still. My only days off in April as well, which is <laughs> kind of insane. Alright, what you want to do is you want to bring your your back row block of quartz all the way down to the floor with block of quartz. So basically, see how you have this kind of like row that retains that circular shape? You just want to bring all that down to the smooth stone floor. That's wrong. Uh, any news? No, I guess I'll talk about Little Nightmares for a quick second. Also, at the front, you can just add a door in. Uh, doesn't have to be much more complicated than that. But I'm gonna talk about Little Nightmares for a sec, because, yeah. Uh, you should have seen episode 8 yesterday. Episode 9, I'm not sure when I'm gonna release it, but that will be technically the second to last part, because I'm going to be doing one for the secret ending. And then I'm also probably going to do a different video on it, which I'm not going to spoil. And then also a series kind of based off of it. Well, it is based off of it. Uh, something that I like to do a lot, and that's about as much as I'll say. Although, it won't turn into much more than what it is. So, uh, yeah, because it's way too big for that. 
But yeah, you might you might know if you're in the Discord server, you might know what I'm thinking of. I think I've mentioned it too in a video, but I don't remember what video it was. It might have been like one of the episodes of that, but uh, yeah, I know most of you probably don't care about Little Nightmares too very much, but yeah, it's <laughs> one of my favorite games I ever played. Well, I am playing, I guess, still because of the secret ending. Also, again, don't go in with the diagonals here, and then I'm just gonna add a door right here. No, don't turn that way out. It's because I placed the door on top of the other block. <laughs> nice one. But yeah, this is gonna be one of the easiest tutorials. One of the quickest interior tutorials. Burger King's 20 minutes has nothing on this. Short is nice. Unless the, um... Filling in takes forever, which it might. It probably will. But I mean, still, like, the actual instructions probably is going to be like five minutes worth. It's not filling. Alright, once you're done that, this is what you should have. You should have a, just a giant quartz... I don't know what you want to call this. A dome of some sort? It's not even like a dome. Well, I guess it's a dome, yeah. Um, now, what you want to do is on the fourth row of block of quartz above the door. So I guess it's the sixth row total. Where is the door? There it is. Yes, yeah, six, six row total? Yes. You want to place the upside down quartz stairs moving all the way around your um, block of quartz. What I would do is I would just kind of put it like in the six sections, just kind of going like straight across like that. Nothing special. On the threes, place the outer block curled inwards towards like the wall, and then the other two just kind of out. And then for the twos, I'd place a block in the corner and place a stair facing out either direction. So here, I'll show you what it should be like. So that's kind of what you should have. At least that's what I did. And obviously that should go all the way around. Because I don't you don't want to connect it like here, put another stair at the end of this and connect it like that. Because then it'd create an overhang. And we don't want the overhang, we just kind of want the uh, underhang for it. That's all, I'm trying, that's all we're trying to accomplish with this. Just make it so that the black concrete and the quartz don't have just a really weird kind of jut off or separation. Just like that. Now, it's, now it's gonna, this next step is going to be kind of hard to explain. Oh, maybe not. You basically just want to cover the entire top half of this above above your quartz stairs. Your upside down quartz stairs. You want to cover the entire, that entire half in with black concrete. Just kind of placing it on the block of quartz just like this. Uh, I did it row by row. I think I'm gonna do it row. I think it's easiest to do it row by row, kind of going all the way around, just like this. Just basically cover up your block of quartz and try to retain the same shape as best you can. It's really hard to build the black concrete in this, and my only really recommendation is if you make a mistake, you could try like if you can tell there's kind of some off there. It will be harder, though, if you don't realize it, because afterwards you're not going to be able to tell that there's a block misplaced. I can usually just tell where it is, and I'll, like, there, I can just kind of tell where I placed it, and I'll just be able to break it. But, yeah, nope. Nah, that's, a, that's, that's where it becomes a problem. Okay, that's a, that's a three. Look, when you're not 100% sure if you break a block of quartz on accident... And you're like, wait, what is it for? I guess I'll do this. Do I have anything else to talk about? No, not really. You could actually put this in, like... Um... You could put this in, like, a shopping center. That's probably a dumb spot to put it. But you could, bas you could like, kind of use this block palette and make a bigger building. And then just kind of, like... Even if you don't make it a bigger building, like you just make this the same size. And then just have, like, other buildings on the sides of it. But turn this building into those buildings a little bit. 
that's probably hard to explain. But it's probably probably you probably don't understand what I'm saying by that. But basically, I mean maybe you do. I don't know. That that was a dumb way to explain it. But basically, like kind of make a bunch of buildings next to each other, and then you can kind of play with where the walls are to make different sizes and different just to kind of get what you want. Now, once you hit the, uh, top section, I would do it by, like, section going around, or that, like, where it starts to go from, kind of inward diagonally, or inwards, I guess, instead of upwards. That's a few more rows after this, I think. Well, I mean, it's, it's not an, it's not an, something I should say I think about, it's something I should know. You can place the white concrete while you go around. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Because you do want to place, like, you might want to make uh, block pallet and stuff. Or you could use light blue concrete or terracotta or whatever. But, like, basically, alright, so I'm at the top of the normal section. And I'll show you what it looks like right now. You could also make moon and the sun and whatever else. But, yeah, basically of that. And then from here, what I would do is I would basically fill it in based on the blocks above it. Just like this. Oh, I did. Okay, never mind. You can't even see those. Although, I still want to fill them in. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, boy. I missed it that bad. Okay, now it's very quiet. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm making a lot of mistakes here for some reason. I think I'm getting numbers confused because there's a ton of different numbers. And then here I can't just fill them. Did I make did I place an extra block there? No, I didn't, okay. If you're not sure you could always just break a block and then look at it from different angles and if there's a quartz that's visible, then you that was block was supposed to be there. If not, then that block was not supposed to be there. Again, that probably would would have been useful to say earlier, but I didn't think about it until I just tried it there, so. <laughs> and then once you hit the top, you can just fill it flat on in. Oh, I missed the block. Perfect timing for ambiance. So you basically just have a giant black dome which you can barely tell what it is. So basically what you want to do is just kind of like scattered around. You want to break. I wouldn't. Don't do that. No. Okay, that's going to be back. It's going to be in a block. Right? In. I don't even know. But kind of just like scattered around. You just want to break. Uh, I'd say only one in a, like, an area, like, don't make them touching, but just kind of break black concretes everywhere to create stars. That will enhance the look of the dome and make it actually more, um, visible to see that it is a dome and not just a giant black box. So, yeah, there's that. And then you could, like, literally just break a ton of blocks randomly and then look at it and decide, okay, that area needs more, that area needs less, or whatever. So basically, I've just broken a block, or an amount that I think is correct, and you just want to go back in and fill them all in with white concrete, making sure that, again, you make it, make sure that no quartz is visible. That's kind of the big thing with this. You shouldn't be able to see quartz anywhere on this entire build. Some areas it'll be harder to tell whether it's white concrete or quartz, but if you look at the outsides of it and kind of like the center of it, because white concrete has like no texture basically at all. Like you can see right there, that's a white concrete. But that's a quartz, because you can see it has like a line and a little bit of texture. Just some tips, because I know this is definitely not the easiest. Like there, I would definitely remove probably that one. And I gotta fill in this side still. Just like that. Like I might add a few more here at the top.
just like that. So, you know, that, just kind of roughly like that. You might want more, you might want less. I'm probably at a little more than that. At least how it was on the other one, how many there were. Alright, just like that. That seems good. Now, at the front and the back. Alright, so basically this is in correlation to the door. The door is at the front. You want to place two oak stairs up against either three blocks of quartz second. Three quartz rows, just kind of like moving inwards, just like this. Actually, at the back, you can just place a row of six. Then you want to place, you want to leave a one block gap moving towards the center, and you want to place rows of oak stairs that touch the outer walls, but the middle two blocks just are open, so you can walk through the middle. And then once you have... Have, and you kind of want to do this on both sides until I would again. You do have to do two at the back for all for all of them except for that far back row. I would do this on both sides until you reach the center of your entire build. So like you can see right here, I'm at that row of course, So I could do one more, and then there will be two. They will be two apart. like that and then you want to come outside and basically you don't have to do this um at the far corners you want to place oakwood stair one block gap oak stair one block gap oak stair one block gap oak stair moving towards the front and middle so you're at the front just like that along your entire ceiling you want to place a row of upside down polished andesite slabs you don't have to add lights if you don't want to. I actually wouldn't. Because the windows create enough natural light, A. And B, uh, it should be dark if you're at night because it needs to be dark in here. I don't actually, well, technically, like, if this were real life, uh, it would automatically, I think that the light would be blocked from the little zipper entrance that they have on them. At least the ones that I've seen. I've never been to, like, an actual one. I always see those inflatable ones that they do for school sometimes. Unless only my school does that. But I don't, I don't know. I'm not really like invest. I've never been to an actual one or anything. This is kind of my representation of one. Also, it should be a little more domey or more um, kind of like a sphere or half sphere. But I couldn't really find, like, I couldn't, because this build isn't big enough for that. <laughs> so I just put, put, put it straight down. Alright, come back inside your dome and you want to clear inventory and get out. Stone brick. Soul lantern. And you also need gray concrete, I forgot about that. So, somewhere in the middle of four blocks, it doesn't really matter which one here at the center. You just want to place a stone brick with a soul lantern on top. Choose wisely because uh, the two, I would actually put it in the front left hand corner because the two blocks that are basically like directly across from it on the two sides that are closer to will have like a little glowy thing. So like that door will be illuminated now and so will that if you block this up. Okay, well you can't see because I have no vision, but like that would be illuminated and so would the door. But the door can't be illuminated because, um, well, it's a door. And you want to come to the back of this, and you just want to place a great concrete. Um, this um, isn't really ne necessary for much. The only reason I added this is because in case, like, because if it is an inflatable thing, it's going to need something to power it. So that's kind of what that is. Or it could just be anything. I don't know. Or nothing at all. You don't even need to add it. But once you're done with the order, that is the interior for your planetarium complete. Again, Burger King's got nothing on time for this. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Have a fantastic rest of your day and night. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.